Subscribe Mr. Avinash YouTube channel and press the bell icon for regular updates on travel, lifestyle and tutorial videos coming every week. Hey guys, welcome to the channel Avinash here and I am back with another video. Today I will be showing you guys the settings which I use on my DSLR while I am shooting indoor. The camera which I use is the Nikon D5200 so I will be setting it up. Uh, for my indoor videos so without wasting any time let's get started okay guys so the camera i'm using is the nikon d5200 and i'll be setting it up so the first setting which we'll be looking at is the frame rate so we'll check what the default setting is for the frame rates here so we'll be going to the shooting menu and then we'll head towards movie settings here we'll be checking the frame rate so as you can see i'm using the 24 frame rate so depending on that we need to change the shutter speed to almost double so as you can see the dial in the left the first dial where i have set the setting to 50 the shutter speed should always be double of the frame rate which you use because it helps you to get rid of the jittery effect or the blinking of lights which you might face sometimes so this is the setting which you need to check if it's correct then the next setting which we need to take care is the aperture so depending on the lens you should like reduce the aperture to the lowest which will give that blurry effect in the background and focus on the subject like if you are sitting in front of the lens the background goes blur and then you are in proper focus which is one of the settings which most of the vloggers or youtubers use on their channels and the last setting which we need to change is the ISO and as you can see the bar here it's showing that the video which we are capturing is underexposed so what we need to do is either increase the ISO uh, to reach that level or we can add an additional light to the subject which we are shooting which will help you to get better quality because the main problem with higher ISO is that it will decrease the quality of your video as you increase it so as you can see uh, in these settings our video will be really great but to reduce the ISO what I will do is I will just add a light so first let's decrease the ISO and as you can see the bar has gone to underexposed and then I'll be adding a light now boom so in order to reduce the ISO as you saw I have added an external light and it's showing that it has gone overexposed so I'll be reducing the ISO now bar is in the middle and the video is showing that the subject which we are shooting is not overexposed or underexposed and using these settings you can really achieve some awesome videos while you are shooting indoors well, guys that was the video on how to set up your dslr for indoor video shooting to everyone coming to this channel for the first time do not forget to hit that subscribe button and yeah if you like this video do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel see you guys in the next one Bye bye